Hey, I'm Abby and welcome back to the Life Work Balance YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about what to expect from an entry-level job interview. Entry-level jobs are exactly that. They are entry-level. They very rarely require education or experience to get the job. Before I jump into the common types of questions that you could encounter during an entry-level job interview, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to hearing those different types of questions. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every week. The primary groups that entry-level jobs are for include recent graduates, whether it's high school graduates or college or university graduates, career changers, people who are changing from one industry career path to another, individuals who are re-entering the workforce. Maybe these are people who have taken a break from work for family, education, or other reasons. People with limited work experience, so people who might have part-time job experience or internship experience but are looking for their first full-time position, students or interns, people who are currently in school or have just completed an internship and are seeking their first full-time job, as well as individuals who are looking to gain experience. Entry-level jobs often provide training and mentoring and other career growth opportunities that are perfect for people who are looking to grow their skills in a specific industry. Entry-level jobs are generally more focused on potential, willingness to learn, and the ability to grow in an organization rather than previous experience. Entry-level roles are essential stepping stones to help people gain the experience necessary to move into more specialized or senior positions. In an entry-level job interview, the questions during an interview are typically designed to evaluate a candidate's foundational skills, their cultural fit, and their potential for growth. The first type of interview question that you may encounter during an entry-level job interview is a behavior-based interview question. Now, I have several videos on my strategy on how to answer behavior-based interview questions. These questions are intentionally designed to assess your past behaviors because past behavior indicates future behavior. So how you've behaved in the past will likely indicate how you'll behave in situations similar in the future. I recommend using the CAR formula to structure your responses to behavior-based questions. This is C for context, A for action, and R for results. You do not need to focus your context, action, and results specifically on your professionally paid work experience. You can use the CAR formula to answer behavior-based questions, and you can use situations from your school, from volunteer experiences, from internship experiences. So you can draw on your life experience as long as the behavior is relevant to answer the question that you've been asked. Some examples of behavior-based interview questions include, tell me about a time you worked in a team. This could be in a team professionally, this could be on a team in, on a sports team, this could be a team at church or a volunteer experience, this could be a team in school. Many different times that you've worked as a part of a team to collaborate with others. Another example could be, describe a situation where you had to meet a tight deadline. The purpose of this question is to gauge your time management skills and possibly even your problem solving skills. You've likely encountered tight deadlines in a variety of different settings. Maybe it was with a professional setting. Maybe it was with a project that you had to submit for school. Maybe it was for something else. And the final example of a behavior-based question would be, how do you handle stress or pressure? The purpose of this question is to understand how you cope with challenging situations. It's likely that you will experience something that stresses you out or that challenges you during any type of job. So understanding how you respond in stressful or challenging situations is a great way to then format your answer to this question. The second type of question that could come up in an entry-level job interview is a motivation question. This is a question that gets at your motives for applying to this specific role. So different types of questions that could come up that are motivation related would include, why are you interested in this position? What attracted you to our company? Or where do you see yourself in five years? The reason these different types of questions are asked is because they want to gauge your interest in the role, the company, and how your goals align with those of the company as well. The third type of question that could be asked during an entry-level job interview might be a technical question or a skill-based question. These are questions that might be 
These are questions that might be a little bit more technical or specific in nature, and they're designed to assess your experience using specific technology, processes, or skills. Technical or skill-based questions that you might encounter during an entry-level job interview include, what software tools are you familiar with? Can you give an example of a project you worked on during your studies? How would you handle a task that you have no experience with? These questions are asked to determine if you have proficiency with certain types of tools or softwares. They are designed to evaluate your ability to use your knowledge in practical situations, and they're also designed to see your problem solving and your willingness to learn. The fourth type of question that you could be asked during an entry-level job interview would be situational questions. Now these are similar to behavior-based questions, but these are more what ifs. What would you do if you encountered a certain type of situation? These might be hypothetical, and you may also have direct experience with some of these situations. So some of these situational questions that you could encounter might include, what would you do if you disagreed with a team member on how to approach a project? Or, if you were given a task with unclear instructions, how would you proceed? These questions are designed to assess your communication and conflict resolution skills, as well as a way to evaluate your initiative and your ability to ask questions or seek clarification. The fifth type of question that could be asked during an entry-level job interview would be cultural fit questions. These are questions designed to evaluate how you might fit in with the team culture, the manager's leadership style, the organization culture, etc. So some examples of questions that you could encounter include, what do you know about our company culture? They might ask this question to see if you've done your homework and researched the organization, if you know their mission, vision, and values and how you align with those. They might also ask, how do you handle feedback? They want to understand how you might respond to constructive criticism and how you handle feedback in general. Feedback is critical when it comes to the world of work, so understanding how you handle it will help them determine if you are a good cultural fit for this role, this team, and this organization. The sixth type of question that you might be asked during an entry-level job interview would be personal insight questions or self-awareness questions. These are questions that will require you to be a little bit more honest and vulnerable about some of your personal shortcomings or areas of growth or improvement. Common questions that could come up during your entry-level job interview that could be considered personal insight questions include, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Or, tell me about a time you failed and what you learned from it. The goal of these sorts of questions is to show your humbleness or your humility because even though you might be confident in your skills and your abilities, we all have gaps. We all have blind spots. We all have areas of improvement. And if we believe that we have no shortcomings, that we are perfect and have no areas of improvement, then we're probably going to have a hard time fitting into any type of job because failure, growth and improvement, and self-awareness are all critical to our overall success in the professional world. The seventh and final type of question that you could experience during an entry-level job interview would be questions about your education or your background. Again, these questions are truly designed to see how you're going to fit in within the company, how you're going to fit into the role, how you're going to fit in with the team, etc. So some of the questions that you could experience related to education or background may include, why did you choose your major? They want to understand your academic interests and how it applies to the role that you're applying to. Or, can you describe an achievement that you're particularly proud of? This is your opportunity to highlight some accomplishments that you've achieved in your past that are relevant to the job that you're applying to. They want to see how these accomplishments could potentially translate into the workplace. So while it would be impossible to create a short and concise video that gives you insight into all of the different types of questions that could be asked during an entry-level job interview, these are some of the big highlights. So if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any additional questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please throw them in the comments box below. I love receiving comments and I will do my best to respond to each of them individually, but just know that if I'm not able to get back to you, your experience that you share in the comments below will likely help someone else in the future. If you are preparing for a job interview and you have some nerves about it, or you've interviewed several times and you haven't moved through the process and you would like some additional support, please reach out to me today. I offer one-on-one -on -one interview strategy sessions where I help you strategize for your upcoming interview. My sessions are limited and they fill up quickly. So as soon as you have an interview coming up, 
reach out to me as quickly as possible. I would love to help you strategize for, prepare for, and feel more confident for your upcoming interview. I've linked to my website as well as my email in the description box below, so please reach out to me as soon as you have that interview on the horizon. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life, work, balance advice delivered directly to you every week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.